away. Sorry. It's a light to go from last year when you're behind uh, Andrew and Mario, and now you're like the clear <laughs> elder statesman. Uh, it's crazy just seeing how fast time really goes by. You know what I'm saying? One, one day I was a freshman, and now I'm the oldest in the room, the senior in the room. So it's crazy. Just hearing Coach Sweeney really say that um, the days are long, but the years are short. That's that's really hit home this year. It's, it's crazy. What did you learn from you know Andrew and Mario that's kind of helped you with some of those younger guys? Um, I learned definitely a lot just being with them every day, uh, making sure we always get extra work and just getting back to really like having fun. Like football is a serious sport. But at the end of the day, we out here playing like. We're still out here playing football. So just getting back to having fun out here, just making plays and always keeping the energy. And having a guy like Mario with the success he had last year, does that help you to know to stick with it too like he did and those good things can happen for you? Yeah, definitely. It's always a time for everything. Everybody time comes different. So you got sometimes some people come early, some people come late. It's a great time for everything. How about the new guys coming in? What do you think about them? What's your impression of them? Uh, definitely got some great DBs coming in, corners and safeties. Toriano, real physical um, technician. Jaden Long, ball hawk. And you also got Sherrod Cobra at safety, real good player. Uh, striker coming down here. It's going to be a great, great back end for years can to guys, come. Can these guys help soon, right away? I believe so, yes, sir. Could definitely help early. I guess Coach Sweeney was saying that things you notice about you is that you seem more confident and have kind of a swagger about you so that at one point maybe you might have lost that a little bit do you feel like that happened how did you get your confidence back um i never really felt like i actually lost like really lost my confidence um we all know how like my sophomore year ended um i was dealing with injury and then came back didn't really have my best game but i just had to get back to really being me you know what i mean um having fun back on the field and just making plays and honestly just worrying about myself, not worrying about what anybody else is saying, coaches, uh, fans, players, anybody. Just being me, worrying about myself, and just having fun with it. You think that happened during your junior season last season? Uh, last, uh, I feel like last year everything was definitely smooth. Uh, wasn't the starter, got in there, made plays when I could. You know, just taking it on the chin as it goes, just going out there making the plays that I do have in front of me. It's not about how many plays I was playing, but what did I do with the plays that I had? I guess, how do you establish, establish yourself as the leader in the room? I mean, what, what are you doing to try to be proactively? Uh, I've always been kind of a lead by example guy. So I always try to get extra work, get those guys in the film room and things like that. I know one thing I wanted to work on was being more vocal. So I'm trying to make sure I open up and tell them, like, do this, make sure you don't do that. Just basically putting them under my wing and putting everybody in the best position possible to be successful. How do you see the defense sort of changing this year under Coach Goodwin? Um, it's definitely, I feel, I feel like nothing's really changing as far as like plays that are going to be made. Um, we're going out there, we're playing with great energy, having fun with it. So I feel like the best is still yet to come. Coach Austin said last week that there aren't like 47 blitzes in. <laughs> during installation for five days. Is that a difference to you that not as maybe things are simplified? Uh, definitely. We definitely had around like a whole bunch of plays when I came in my freshman year. So I tried my best staying on top of that. But um, we definitely simplified it down, getting back to the basics. So guys can go out there and play faster and didn't, don't really have to think about much. Just go out there and play football. So that definitely helps some of the younger guys. But, you know, me being old, it was, it was easier for me too. You know what I mean? I think it's all Coach Boyd. Posted video where he said something about smelling roses. Why was that something that came to you when you It's weird because I was thinking about that like the whole previous week before. And I got a roommate, Root. Um, he's always telling us how, like, he has this saying called college. And people think of it as like just going out and partying and stuff like that. But when he says college, he's talking about us cherishing the time that we have with each other because we're not going to get it back. So we're trying to just basically have fun and, you know, go out there and I woke up today I can I can go to practice today like I have the I have the privilege of going to practice today instead of oh man I gotta go practice today like it's gonna be this it's gonna be that just going out there and just playing football having fun so smelling the roses definitely definitely uh, that was my saying for that because I just wanted to do it
let everybody know that it's not always easy, but we got to cherish what we have. You mentioned becoming more vocal. Is that your personality, or is that something you sort of have to work at? Um, my personality is pretty vocal. You know what I'm saying? Around the right people, but as far as like sending people back like during like mad drugs and stuff like that i wasn't really the guy to speak up i didn't want to be that guy but i feel like when you're the older guy in the room you got to be that guy you got you got to set the tone for everybody else and let them know what's right from wrong and what should we be doing more what should we be doing less yeah. that's one thing i really just want to make sure i did that's something that you became more aware of once mario and andrew left like i'm the guy i'm the, I'm the guy now in this room uh it started last year also you know being behind um aj also my freshman year after he left, you know, me and Andrew came in in the same in the same class. So we was already like neck and neck. I'm telling him, he telling me, like we was right there with each other. But definitely, it started kind of as I got older, the years before. But definitely, definitely now more than ever. How good do you think this defense could be? What people would you say that this defense's potential is? I believe this defense could be one of the best we have. So why do you say that? Just got so many. Um, so many players that have played a lot. You know, our front is really crazy. Our front four, we got some great linebackers behind them that played a lot of football. And then we got some real good young guys in the back end also. We got Jalen Phillips at free safety. And then, just like I said earlier, the freshman we got coming in, it's going to be real great for them too. Receivers stood out to you in the Um, I love Joseph and God. That's my guy. Uh, so me and him, we battle day to day, going out there making plays. Yeah. Other guys like Bo Collins, Dakari, um, Adam Randall, a freshman coming in, he's doing real good. Also, you know, seeing those guys every day that definitely gets you ready for game day. Mike Ray obviously added some responsibilities this season with the special teams and assistant head coach. Have you seen any, I guess, change in him, or you know, what's that like now with him having a couple more things to do? Um, having more things to do. I don't know as far as that, but I know definitely seeing him since my freshman year, I feel like he's also like gotten more, like we got a real good relationship. He's got more comfortable like um, talking to us and like just gaining that relationship with Coach Reed. We've gotten way closer since my freshman year. So he's definitely, he's definitely even doing better since the beginning. Toughest thing for young corners to learn if you can think back that far. Think back that far. With me? <laughs> I want to say um, you got to realize it's really it's really football. Like it's, you just go out there and have fun. I know sometimes, like my freshman sophomore year, uh, I used to be like, you know, sometimes you get in the mood like, damn, I gotta do this today. I gotta do that today. You know, so you mess up on the play, you really get down there. So if you beat yourself up, I mean, but it's football. You mess up. This will happen. That'll happen. Just brush that off. Go back to the next play. Just have fun. Play with energy and believe in yourself at all times. Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. You found yourself lifting these young guys up like that? Um, having not not so much as like them looking down, but definitely telling them, I mean, you a freshman, like, it's gonna be long from here. Like some like some days these guys get a little bit of extra rest. Like, hey, we all been there. <laughs> it's a process to everything. So definitely always always keeping the positive hand with them. Always. I guess just kind of curious, you have the, the money bag right here. Is that kind of like a, a <laughs> what's the significance of that? Uh, it's funny you ask that. I've been signing my name with a dollar sign since I was like kindergarten. Always. S, dollar sign, Sheridan Jones. So I know, like, I just I just love money. I love getting to the money. <laughs> <laughs> so this always reminded me, like, you know what I'm saying? We got to wake up. We got to get to the bag today. It's a money bag. So. Kind of like reminded of get and stay in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys. <laughs> I will pull Sharon aside so we can get Coach Reed started if anybody needs to follow up with him. But you know what? Just hang here. We'll bring Coach Reed right in. Thanks, Sharon. Appreciate